Hey, this is Nate Cummings, one of the pastors at South Hills Corona, and I hope you're doing well. I wanted to walk you through a few things that I think might enhance the time that you have over digital groups. You know, we value growing more in circles than in rows. And one of the best ways that that's, that's happening is through these digital Zoom groups right now. And so uh, we've got a few other tutorials that will walk you through how to set some of those up. This one is how to enhance it with some things even further. And so I'm going to step over into the settings profile um, here in Zoom. If you log in, you can head over down to settings. And then I'm going to show you a few things to make sure to turn on if you would like to try these things. So if you scroll down in here, you will eventually find this thing for annotations, for whiteboard, and then if you want, uh, there's breakout rooms. If you have those selected, if you can also check that as well, um, you will then be able to go into Zoom and then see this little breakout room, and then as well as later I'm going to show you the annotation in whiteboard. Breakout rooms is a great feature if you are finding that maybe your conversations aren't as fruitful as you'd like them to be. Um, and maybe there's more than what I've found, more than five people in the room. Uh, the conversations don't happen as deep or as creative or fruitful as I'd like them to be. And so uh, creating these breakout rooms is kind of like large group, small group. It's gathering together, maybe do that at the very beginning. I lead, I've done this with students and young adults. And then I've got a few other people that have kind of trained up to kind of be ready to facilitate some discussions um, for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or half hour where you break out into groups. And so you can create these. You can add as many um, as you'd like uh, for what's appropriate for you. You can um, rename them if you'd want. And then you'll be able to assign people. When you have other people logged on, you'll see their names in here. And you can select which rooms they go into, as well as there's going to be an option um, at the bottom where you can automatically add them into the groups and it just randomly does it. There's a few options here you can select like move them automatically into those rooms as soon as you click this open all rooms button it'll move them into there and basically it creates two or three or however many uh, zoom meetings all at once but it's linked with this main session so everybody can kind of hop in and out of that if they want to but mainly go out discuss for a bit come back and maybe you gather some of the the questions and answers um, per requests that you might be able to do i found it to be a great training ground for some of the people that maybe aren't ready to fully lead themselves in the whole night, but maybe they can for a little bit of the time, as well as fostering better conversations um, in smaller groups. And so that's one of the features I uh, wanted to walk you through. The other is if you screen share, you now have this option for whiteboard, uh, which basically just creates a whiteboard, a rectangle that you can draw. You can um, edit text on here, um, and you can do uh, lots of sorts of things and clear all drawings as well as others' drawings. They can um, write on here. We've done some fun things like Pictionary and games uh, using this feature, as well as you can do it as a brainstorming feature to kind of talk together and everybody's able to see and contribute onto one screen at once and then you can save it at the end of it as well um, and then you can as well I'm going to screen share my Safari my internet browser and I have over here a uh, Bible verse uh, maybe you're talking through a Bible verse and, and how you want to apply that into your life and highlight a few things um, if you hover over here at the top for the settings there's now this annotate feature which basically allows you to draw right on this um, and highlight a few things maybe you want to add a stamp with an arrow to say hey look at this thing and look at this thing um, look at what's right here um, and you could do it in different colors again other people can do it or or just you you can hit save um, up here as well um, under more you can disable uh, other people to be able to do it and just have it for you or you can have other people uh, be a part of that um, it's a really great feature to kind of like if you're doing a presentation or trying to highlight some things and doing it together um, in, a, in a different way that you have access to now because of, of Zoom. Um, so I hope that you find that helpful and meaningful. If there's anything that um, we could do to come alongside you, please let us know. Reach out to me. My email address is nathan.cummings at southhills.org. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.